Guys, back here on Thursday, here in the robot barn, I was actually um, taking these barrels of chemical and well, that one's teak dip. And I was, they had run out here um, during harvest. And so I was taking them and I was gonna put them in these ones we're currently drawing out of to kind of empty them and then put them away in storage. And uh, anyway, I got an alarm while I was doing that. And so the milk hauler had come out today and picked up milk. And then after it, they pick up milk, it does a cluster cleaning afterwards. And I got an alarm that it had failed. Preparation taking too long. Went in there and cleared that alarm. And then it said cluster A wash, not ready for cleaning. And then after that, it said the boiler is taking too long to heat up. I just decided <laughs> uh, after consulting with the dealers, they said, yeah, just get, do a hard reset on everything. So. Here we are. Shut off the CRS here. Not the CRS, the central unit. And I got both robots powered down. So, letting them sit here for a second. And we're gonna go ahead and turn them back on and see what happens. So. Go ahead and start that one back up. Robot 102 up. Try Robot 101. It'll take it a second here to power back up. Hoping this works. Okay. So now I should do a local rinse after I get these started back up. All right, both robots are doing a local rinse here. And after that, I may let them milk a couple of cows and then I may try to do, get it to do a cluster, cluster cleaning after milked a couple of cows. I got a couple actually that are standing out here waiting to be milked. So we'll let them milk and then we'll try to give it another cleaning and hopefully it works this time. I don't know why I did that. So anyway, um, place is one of them deals. Power it off, power it back on. <laughs> So I don't think I've showed this in a while. Um, what the robot's doing here right now is doing a pre-treatment. It is knocking off any dirt that's on, maybe on her, the cow's feet, and uh, it helps with her stimulation as well before she milks. So it goes around and does each teat twice. And it swings out here and put sanitizer on the brushes and goes in there to clean. When it does that, you hear that stream of air. That stream of air is drying the cow's teeth, so it's obviously cleaning her with that sanitizer and then uh, blowing it dry just like it is when you go in the bathroom at a public restroom and blow dry your hands after you've washed them. So that way we have a good, uh, dry, clean teat whenever it goes to the cat. So now it's done with that. Now we'll go ahead and attack.
Once it senses milk flow, it sanitizes the brushes again. And then that way it can sit here and dry before the next cow comes in. The brushes are relatively dry for the next cow to do that dry pre-cleaning. So. Each cup has its own individual hose the milk flows into. It comes into this jar. And this jar will weigh how much milk the cow is given this milking. It'll estimate through the cow flow, it'll estimate what each quarter gives. But that jar will give an accurate reading to know what the total amount of milk is here. So like on the screen here, that each quarter is individual pounds of milk that it's projecting it's gave, but it'll give you the pounds of milk that she actually gave via the weight of that jar. So this is what she's expected to milk. This milking 18.7 pounds of milk is what she's expected to give. So then you'll see what she'll actually do here. So inside those hoses that are inside that arm, there are um, readers that are taking uh, a reading of the conductivity of the milk basically trying to know what the uh, milk quality is via uh, whether it's butter fat and protein or if it's uh, her mastitis quality if she has the severity of a mastitis if she has it so you can see it's taken off each quarter one by one as they finish so this left front of hers you can still see here on the screen still sensing milk flow She's probably getting done, close to being done. And there, it kicks it off, so. Now you'll see here, it'll actually spray each teat with iodine. In case she got any bacteria on her teats while she was being milked. It'll be a little disinfect her teats when she leaves. It'll go around and it'll actually spray each teat twice. Swing out, and away she goes. So she actually gave 16.5 pounds of milk. So now she'll exit. I actually got the foot bath set up back here today. She walks through the foot bath here. So she's actually a 50% uh, Jersey, and her mother would have been Holstein. So but her sire is a Jersey. She's a good cow. She's a super good visitor. She's actually holds the record for most refusals in a day. I think her her record is 42 refusals in a day. So anyway, she's a good cow though. So it says it's in operation milk weight on temp. So I'm hoping, I don't know why it wouldn't have hot water in that boiler but maybe that was our problem earlier. I don't know, we'll see here. Well, it looks like it's gonna go ahead and do it now, so. So now you hear that noise, it's blowing air through that milk line. So that way it empties any milk that's trapped in that milk line, it pushes it into the tank, that way we're not wasting any milk. So that's that humming noise you're hearing right now. Once it's done that, it should go ahead and and uh, wash out this robot. Wash out those lines there, those hoses, and then wash out this entire robot and the milk line going all the way down to the milk barn and also cleaning out the uh, buffer tank down there at the bulk tank room. It's a wash that we do uh, three times a day. Twice a day it does it with an alkaline detergent. And then once a day at noon, it'll do the uh, acid rinse or acid wash. So uh, three different washes, one at four, noon and eight. Now I'm gonna go back to putting almost empty barrels of chemical into here. So my handy dandy little funnel and just dumping them in there. If anybody wants some barrels, by the way, we got quite a bit of them stacked up in this little barn. 
every so often I'll post on Facebook or something and try to sell them. And usually people buy them up pretty quick. It just depends kind of what uh, project you got going. Well, it's Halloween today and um, it's 3.30 and I'm heading out for the day and we are gonna go uh, do our trick-or-treating and stuff. Go see all the aunts and uncles and uh, grandma, grandpas and great grandma, great grandpa, great aunt, do all that stuff. So that's uh, one of the nice things about having the robots is it gives us a little more flexibility to do stuff like this versus having to do the evening milking and not being able to do that stuff with your family. So works pretty nice. In other news, we got the combine back today. John went up there this morning and and uh, picked it up. So we should be getting back to doing soybean harvest and all that stuff. So that'll be that'll be good because uh, we should be done with harvest, but instead we're, we're not. So uh, one good week of good weather and good running and without breakdowns, it'll, we, we should be able to knock it out, but uh, we'll need that. So I think that's gonna be it for this week, guys. We'll see you next time.